Okay, so now we are going to add levels to our project. So as you can see, North Elevation is now open for me to be able to start my uh, level. So I only have here one level and then one floor, which is my uh, basement, right? So now I'm going to open the North Elevation to start placing my levels. Okay, so to create level, you can type LL. So that's the shortcut for level. Or you can go to the datum panel from the structure tab. Datum panel, you can select their level. So when you click level here, so you have two options to create level. Line, and then the other one is pick lines. Okay, so I'm going to select here the line tool. Alright, and then after that, here on the plan views, I want I also want to create a plan view after I create my level. So I'm going to check this one. Okay, and then I can also specify here what will gonna be the view types. Okay, the plan view type. So I can click that. So what is the plan view type that I'll be creating? So I just want to create a structural floor plan here or structural plan to be added here. Okay, so that's why I'm going to select your structural plan and okay. Alright, so create plan. So what will happen is after I create level, it will automatically create a structural plan because create plan view is checked. Okay, so now I'm going to move my pointer here and then align it to the end point of this level here. Now, I want to have uh, 3,600. So once I see 3,600, so I'm going to pick or... You can actually type, so when you see that temporary dimension appears, you can type like 3,600 and then enter. There you go. And then just move your pointer to the right while panning your drawing, zooming out, and then zoom in again. And then I want that to be aligned to my basement, so I'm going to place it. And there you go. And then like what I have said, automatically it will create my level 2. Okay, so after I create my level 2, it also create my structural plan level 2. Alright, so I'm going to cancel the tool by selecting modify here. Okay, so now for this one, I want to create another level, but I'm going to copy. Okay, so let's try to use copy. So I'm going to select level 2. I want this to copy above. Okay. Uh, 3600 above so I select that and then I can select here the copy tool all right and then I'm going to pick the base point here pick and then move your pointer up and then I'll type 3600 enter and then I select here uh, modify okay right so you will notice that the color of my level here is the level head of my level 3 is black so that's because that's only level so we don't have the associated level 3 structural plan for that so that's why it's black so this is just a reference level okay because there are some instances you just want to create a reference level but you do not want to create a plan view for that so this is one way of doing it you can just copy the level okay you see it's colored blue colored blue because there's an associated plan view for that views okay or for that levels so this is black because there is no level 3 here only level okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another level so this time i'm going to select the level tool again level tool and then i'll use the peak lines tool here okay peak lines so peak lines Okay, so now I want to create a plan view. Let's check again the plan view type. So I just want the structural plan. That's fine. So when you select peak lines, you need to specify the offset for that one. Okay, so I want 3,602. Okay, and then I'm going to pan my drawing. Make sure this is active. So pan and then hover your pointer to level 3. And then you can see now the preview above. If you move your pointer below, so you can see the preview below, I, I, I can't just see it clearly because it's the same level as level 2, but you see there's the preview below, there's a, there's a blue dotted line there. But if I move my pointer up, so that's the preview above, okay? So make sure you are on the correct position in placing your level. 
if you want that to be on the top so hover your pointer a little bit above the level and below if you want it to be placed below now i want that to be placed above so i'm going to click this and there you go so there's my level four i select here modify it's color blue because there's the associated floor plan okay all right so now let me just do some renaming here so i want to change my basement here uh, uh i'll just change this one so this will gonna be my uh, first floor that's my first floor would you like to rename corresponding views do not show this message again i want yes so it's also a name here on my floor plan floor plan view okay so this will gonna be my second floor and then this is my let's say uh, roof enter now if i want to create a second floor plan view here so this is how you do it okay if you want to create a structural plan for example for your second floor level so what you do just go to the view tab and then look for plan views and then you can select their structural plan okay so because i want to create structural plan so you click that and then you can see now here your second floor so it's there automatically because this is the level that don't have structural plan so if you want to duplicate existing views you can uncheck this one so it will be duplicate so if you want to create again basement floor plan or first floor plan or roof plan for some reason so you just need to uncheck this one okay but if you do not want to duplicate you only want to see levels that don't have a plan view just check this one and it will show you that second floor it doesn't have a uh, plan view so I, I just need to select that one and then I select your OK and there you go so you now have your second floor plan view so if I go back again let's say to my north elevation I can see that it's now colored blue because there's the associated floor plan here all right okay so basically that's how you create your level very simple by the way if you want to add here the level head just click your level go to edit type and then after that just check this one symbol at end one default just check both make sure you check both if you want to show both the symbol just okay and there you go all right so that's it for creating levels. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.